Hey there, everyone. It's Caitlin. We're all connected live. I know it's Saturday, July 3rd, and you may be watching fireworks or getting ready to go watch fireworks or what have you. Um, but I just wanted to film this live for you, jump right back into my closet tour series. I've been getting a lot of love on these videos, so I wanted to um, just give you a snapshot of my summer closet tour. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. I am feeling very patriotic. I've got my red and white and my blue denim on. And if you are a follower on Instagram, I just posted a reel. I'm looking for you guys' help to help me pick an outfit for the fireworks tomorrow night on Independence Day. So if you are not a follower, make sure you go follow at your geeky girlfriend on Instagram. It's um, your underscore geeky GF. And it's the same as my YouTube handle. And on the flip side, if you are watching this on Instagram and don't already follow me on YouTube, make sure you jump over and subscribe and follow me on YouTube because anything that you miss here on Instagram is in full version on my YouTube channel. So not sure if we'll have very many people watching this live. That's all right. If you're watching it live, just wave. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're watching. And as we go through, just let me know what your favorite pieces are. And like I mentioned, this is going to be a snapshot of my summer wardrobe. I'm not going to show you guys everything because you guys have by now seen a lot of it in my posts and in my reels. And I am working on going to a more capsule wardrobe. I have, I did a big clothing purge last summer, got rid of like two totes full of stuff. I'm not even exaggerating sold a lot of it, donated a lot of it, just stuff that I just didn't like, didn't wear, didn't fit. Um, and I'm working on creating a more cohesive wardrobe that stays in all year long with pieces that I can wear for work and for play. I've talked a lot about that on the channel and on the page on Instagram. So you guys have seen a lot of the pieces that are already in there, including my dresses, my tank tops. I've shown you guys a lot of this stuff already because most of it was the same as in the spring, but I wanted to do a snapshot or just a um, item specific tour um, when looking at the summer closet tours because I have been really obsessed with skirts lately. And so I wanted to show you guys all of the styles that I have, give you guys some tips on how to store them, how to hang them, and also give you some styling ideas as well. Now, with skirts, I used to not like skirts because I grew up going to a Catholic school. We had to wear uniforms, so I wore a skirt almost, you know, my whole school career, like from kindergarten up through 12th grade, I had the option to wear a skirt every single day. It was either a skirt or pants. So I wore a lot of skirts. So when I was in college and first on my own as an adult, skirts were not my go-to piece because I had worn them so much in my life. But now that I'm older, I love how professional a skirt is and I love how you can really express your style through a skirt and still make it appropriate. Um, and then in the summer, it's a great way to kind of dress up an outfit where if you don't want to wear denim shorts all the time, you can just throw on a cute skirt. So with that, we're going to jump right into the actual tour. We're going to do very similar to how we've done the tours in the past. I'm going to show you guys all the styles that I have and give you guys what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and why I feel like you need to add them to your wardrobe. Again, if you're watching, just give me a comment, say hello, wave, and let me know what your favorite pieces are when you see them. I've got all of my stuff out, so we won't be in the closet today. We're going to be right here on my hanging rack. And we're going to start with mini skirts. Now, obviously, um, mini skirts are very hard to pull off in the winter months unless you have tights, which many of us do have nice, high-quality tights. If you don't, I highly recommend you go and get yourself some. Everybody should have nude and black tights in their wardrobe. Um, and so, but when we're in the summer, mini skirts are able to be worn without having to worry about tights, and we're able to show off our legs a little bit, maybe wear a cute heel, a cute shoe, and kind of show off, again, that style in a fun way. So first off, I'm going to say, and I've mentioned this in closet tours before, that I am a huge fan of the black skirt trend, whether it's leather or denim. I think it is just a great look, a great basic piece, and it just goes with everything. You can take a regular shirt and instantly make it dressed up 
by adding the black skirt. This is the mini. This came from Walmart. It has a little bit of a fringe um, bottom to it. So this came from Walmart and I was so excited to add this piece to my wardrobe. And if you do not have a black skirt, um, I would recommend getting it. Everybody says that, that black is not their favorite color, but I think when it comes to fashion, everybody has a pair of black leggings. Everybody has a pair of black jeans. Almost everybody has a pair of black leather pants and black skirt should be one of those things that you go ahead and add. I have the mini version. I also have a black midi skirt just to have something that's a little bit more um, appropriate for work, church, family outings, things like that. Um, and less for play, date night, those sort of things. So I do have the midi skirt in black, which I'll show you guys when we get to that part of the video. Um, and I think that black skirts are just a necessity. A black maxi skirt is also a good idea. I currently don't have a black maxi skirt in my wardrobe because I have a black maxi dress that if I wanted to pull off the illusion of a skirt, I would just put a shirt over top of it because the dress that I have has like a keyhole so I can't wear it as it is to work anyway. So I would just cover that with a t-shirt and make it look like I'm wearing a black maxi. Um, so the black skirt is definitely a necessity. Along with that is a good denim skirt. You notice that these skirts are very similar. Um, this one also has a little bit of a fringe detail. I think that is super cute right now. It's really in. Um, so these skirts are almost the, exactly the same. This one you can see in a reel on my page. Um, I modeled this in a try-on haul. This is from At Bougies. And I have this in a highlight on my page as well because you can um, use my discount code and save on this skirt particularly. Um, and I'm really excited. I think this skirt is going to go with me on vacation next week. So I'm really excited about that. But the black denim and the regular denim are two mini skirts that I think are must haves in your wardrobe. It just makes you, um, it just gives an outfit that extra little level of chic and then also makes your wardrobe that much more diversified because you can take a shirt that you would wear with denim shorts and then it instantly is dressed up because you're wearing a skirt even though it's denim. So just something to think about. Those two are must-haves. Now the rest of my minis you've actually, well, some of them you've already seen in posts on my page. These are just my extras or like my accent pieces. This one is from H&M. It is the paper bag style with the um, different shades of blue and white. I think this skirt is super cute. I love the buttons down the front and I love the tie belt, but this is the paper bag style that was a big trend last year it does have the side zipper closure and then it does have pockets so i just think this is super cute super chic um i love how this fits this is a little bit longer than the traditional mini skirt this comes to about like just a um you know it is high waisted so it comes like a couple of inches above the knee but it's not as short as the traditional mini which is another reason why i just love it i pair this with a white tee and some heels or some wedges, and I'm good to go. It's a simple outfit. It's a simple piece, but it really just stands on its own. And so something like this, like a stripe, a paper bag, um, a pattern skirt, um, these are really great for giving a simple outfit, like that extra edge. And I, like I said, I just love the buttons down the front. These are still in this year. You're, I'm finding a lot of wardrobe pieces with the buttons down the front. And then I love the tie belt. It just gives it an extra, like I said, just that extra little level of chic, level of cuteness. Um, so I think this skirt is super cute. I bought this last year, um, either right after the quarantine slash during the quarantine, um, kind of when the stores opened up or right before they closed. Um, and I was really excited about this. And I wore it last year on a girl's trip and it was the perfect um, skirt for a girl's trip. So it's super cute. So I like that. Um, definitely something with a pattern or a print. And I love the material that paper bag material is a big trend right now. And I highly encourage you to get some shorts or a skirt um, just to try out that trend if you are a trend follower. And I just love the look of the buttons down the front. I think that's so sleek. And I also find that it um, is slimming. You put it on and it makes you feel and look slimmer than maybe you are because the buttons, um, anything that's um, vertical stripes naturally, <coughs> excuse me, makes your body look 
taller and leaner and thinner because your eye is drawn downward instead of side to side. So that's just an overall fashion tip for you in case you didn't know that. Uh, vertical stripes versus horizontal. If you want to look taller, thinner, or skinnier, go with the vertical stripe and that skirt does it. Um, I have this red and white polka dot skirt, which definitely gives me all of the Minnie Mouse vibes, but it's still super cute. What's fun about this one is it's actually a skirt. So if you are traveling and like to play putt putt or do anything like this is like the active girls skirt and actually skirts are kind of making a comeback right now. There's a lot on Instagram and Pinterest about like active dresses and skirts um, that are like chic and comfortable. Um, so I love this. It just gives me like Minnie Mouse vibes. And I just think it's so cute. Again, most of these skirts can be just paired with a simple basic plain white tee or tank. And you have your whole outfit made with just two basic pieces. Um, in the fall, a black long sleeve and you really have the Minnie Mouse vibe. Um, that's actually why I bought this was because I was doing Minnie Mouse for a costume. But I haven't gotten rid of it yet because I still am wearing it day to day with the basic white tee. So um, it started off as a costume piece and then I realized it was legit cute. So I kept it. So we've seen stripes. We've got polka dots. The polka dot is a mini. Um, the striped from H&M is, you know, a lower down on the thigh. So almost like almost the length of a pencil, not quite. Um, and then these two you guys have seen in posts on the blog. We've got the corduroy with the zipper down the middle. Um, this one's from Forever 21, and I wore this with the purple sweater that was, I did the monochrome purple look. What I love about this skirt is the corduroy. This was a huge trend last year, um, and it's still just as cute, and I love the zipper down the middle. Again, anything that draws the attention downward or long ways is going to instantly make you look thinner, slimmer, and taller if those are the images that you are trying to to go for it instantly is going to make your legs look longer as well so this one i it is plain but i love the corduroy and it's just a pop of color again with a basic black or white tee this is a statement outfit with just one skirt so i try and keep my skirts um to kind of speak for themselves i don't like like i like my skirts to be the staple of the outfit i don't um typically like over accessorize them or try and show them up by a shirt or whatever. I just let the skirt do all the talking for the outfit and my mood that day. You guys have also seen this one. This is a um, kind of mid pencil. It's not quite the length of a standard pencil. It is blue, but what I love about this one is the elastic. It is um, a bodycon, but because of the elastic, it always looks looser than it might be in real life, more loose. And um, so it doesn't, you know, hug super duper tight which makes it still work appropriate. And you guys saw this when I was doing my blue challenge for Autism Awareness Month. I paired this with the old navy blouse. So you guys have all seen this one as well. Um, so those are my mini skirts. And you saw like, uh, I have five, right? I've got the stripes, the polka dots, the two plain colors, the black and the denim. So I guess that's seven. Um, so just like a basic collection of, mini skirts something that if i want to wear a skirt i've got it it's plain i can wear a cute shirt with the denim and the black and then with the other ones just wear plain and let the skirt speak for itself we're going to go into my midi skirts now which the mid length is the biggest trend in skirts right now anything that's mid length so it's going to hit like um past your knee like at the shin level is what we're referring to as those middies the mini is going to be from your thigh to your knee anything in there the pencil is going to hit at the knee or just above and then your midi is going to hit like mid shin like past the knee and then the maxi is going to go to your ankle or to the floor one thing that i wanted to share with you is a hanging hack that i Feel like I didn't come up with but just realized works really well is if you have skirts that are maybe the same style but different prints or different colors same style hang them on a hanger like this in the closet because those pesky pant hangers with the clips break way easier and they're a lot harder to find in the stores or they're really expensive and every single store including the Dollar Tree has these plastic hangers and this now is one less hanger that I have to hang because both of these skirts fit on one hanger. 
So that's just a little hack that I have, especially if you have a small closet. Y'all have seen the inside of my closet. I take up uh, 70% and I give my husband the other 30 and I need as much space as I can to take up that wall. And so this just reduced me from two hangers down to one and they're, the skirts are probably less likely to get wrinkled because they're just folded in one crease instead of mashed together within everything else. So the midi skirt, I have these two put on the same hanger because they are very similar styles, just different patterns. This one is the palm print, which I showed in my story a couple weeks ago when I was modeling the Stacy top from Salty Sadie. So it's got like the palm tree leaf print and it does have a slit. Um, in the front as well. I bought this as a two piece set, which is a huge, huge trend right now. Um, and it came with a matching crop top of the same print, but I have kind of been wearing the crop top with the denim skirt and wearing this skirt with a different top. So the good thing about two piece sets is that it allows you to do that and you can um, take an outfit that was supposed to be worn together and you just created possibly three to four or five new outfits, depending on how you wear them. And so the more like the two piece sets end up being a good investment because you just added an additional outfit to your wardrobe. If you potentially two extra outfits, if you break the pieces up and wear them in isolation. And then this skirt is the one that I um, posted in my um, gorgeous reel the other day. This is from Watmar. So this is one of the newest skirts in my collection. This one has like a silky material, but again, you see it does have the slit here as well. So I just went ahead and hung that one and the palm print on the same hanger because they are essentially the same skirt, just in different prints. Y'all know I had to have that cheetah because cheetah is my favorite print. So I wanted to get myself a cheetah skirt. And what I like about this is it's black and white, not your traditional cheetah. So it kind of gives it a little bit more versatility because I can wear it with white shirt, black shirt, cute tee. Um, and you can see kind of some of my styling tips on my page and in my reels on Instagram. I've also styled this one on Instagram. You can see that as well. This one most likely is going to go on vacation with me. So I'll be having another look possibly um, added to the page after vacation next week. So that's my hanging hack for you. And those are my two, well, not my only two. I have lots of skirts that have patterns because like I said, I like the skirt to sort of speak for themselves. So if I wore the two piece set, then it, that would be the whole outfit. And I would pair it with a cardigan or a jacket that's very muted and understated. But otherwise I would make the skirt the statement piece and I would pair it with a plain top to let the skirt be the focal point of the attention. And that's kind of the point of a skirt. Your legs are gonna show, potentially it's gonna hug the booty a little bit. And so you want the focus of your outfit to be the skirt because it's going to do a lot for you. I do have two pencil skirts in my um, collection for spring. I have the traditional professional khaki pencil, which honestly I have yet to wear. Um, I have contemplated wearing it a lot and then I just never have, but I'm saving it for my next job interview, whenever that would be. Um, this I got at Sears when it was closing. So this was like $3.99. I just couldn't pass it up. Um, maybe this year when I'm meeting more in person and I'm having more in-person meetings, I would break this one out. But this is the traditional pencil. So when I put it on, it's going to hit me exactly at the knee. And most pencils do have that traditional little slit in the back. So that way when you're walking, the pleats like don't bunch up. So it's going to split where your legs do when you're walking. So that's the note of a pencil skirt is the little slit in the back just below the knee for when you walk. So this is going to hit me right at my knees. And they are supposed to fit tight. So if you're looking into adding a pencil skirt to your wardrobe, note that it it is going to fit snug because that's the appeal. They are designed for the business profession um, with the blazer, the blouse, the whole pantsuit get up. So it's supposed to be fitted, especially in the thigh area. So if you've never worn one and are looking into getting one, just note that when you're thinking about sizing. Similarly, I have this pink one. Now this is very bold for work. This is more if I was trying to um, this is more of a dress up. So I wore this to the theater. I might wear this to a play or a show or a fancy dinner party. I would be less likely to wear this skirt to work because it is so bold in color. Um, and that's just 
not always something that I'm trying to do. Um, I would rather go bold with a print than a color. Um, but again, it is a pencil because it has the slit behind. This one actually goes a little bit below my knee, but it still has the slit in the back for walking and sitting cross-legged, things like that. All the things that business women do on the regular, um, these skirts were designed for them. So I do have this one. It has like a thin black stripe, um, which I've been talking a lot about horizontal versus vertical versus horizontal stripes. And this skirt, unfortunately, does have the horizontal stripe. Um, I do usually wear it higher up on the waist, um, which is a good, you know, I pull it up almost to here, like almost to my breast and my bosom. Um, and that's another good way to kind of hide any problem areas that you might want to hide in the belly or your hips. Um, if you're self-conscious, just pull the skirt up higher, pair it with a cardigan, drape something, a long necklace, drape something over it is a good way to disguise those problem areas that may be accented by the horizontal stripe or just a tight skirt in general. So I still have a lot of midis to show you guys. Obviously, you can see the patterns of some of these. Some of these are very bold in pattern, but I've been talking a lot about letting the skirts speak for themselves. And so that's what that's what I do. All of my skirts, when I wear them, I would wear them with a plain shirt um, and just kind of have fun with some more basic accessories, pearls, um, bulb earrings, um, stud earrings, those types of things. Like I'm not going to go crazy with the accessories because the skirt is the statement piece. It's what's doing the talking. So I don't want to overshadow it. This one came from Air Apostle. It's got a nice blue and black floral pattern. Um, and this one also, it sort of is like a wrap skirt. The slit is more so in the front. Um, and it kind of has that wrap skirt, like sarong type feel. What I like about this one is although it's black, it's very light and still very airy and breathable, which is really nice. Fun fact about this skirt, I wore it last year when my husband and I were on our like honeymoon sort of celebration for our anniversary and I was actually like really sick, like I was having a lot of stomach issues and so we were out and about and I was like throwing up and getting, it was terrible, terrible and I felt so bad because I legit almost had to stay in the car. But I say all that to say that this skirt, I was wearing this skirt and I was like, comfortable because it had an elastic waist. So I wasn't feeling like it was super tight and restricting me. And I was just able to like sit on the bench if I wanted to and just like chill and relax. And I wasn't worried about, oh my gosh, my skirt is too tight. I feel like I can't breathe. So this skirt was perfect despite me being very, very sick at the museum. And I just kind of wanted to sit in the car, but don't worry. It was not something contagious or else I definitely would have stayed in the car. It was like definitely womenly issues and something that was not contagious. Um, but even better why I was happy to be wearing this skirt because it is elastic and very breathable. And I was so happy. And the fact that it's like a wrap sarong style, I was very happy that day that that was what I chose to wear. And so I know now that when I am looking to be comfortable, but still cute, it's that skirt. Similarly, the next one, is similar to the palm print and the cheetah one. It's just a basic midi skirt with a hot, this one does have a higher slit. The slit comes up higher on the thigh. The other ones that I've shown you are a little bit lower on the thigh, um, just above the knee. So this one's the highest slit skirt that I have. Now, obviously with this skirt, this one is completely plain. So I would pair this with like a striped shirt or a polka dot shirt, or I would put a, a cuter, more fancier shirt with this one since it is so plain. And then I would pair this one with a cute shoe and some bigger jewelry because the skirt is the accent and it's got that high slit. So I'm going to get the, um, the attention is going to be drawn to the skirt. It's still going to be the statement, but then I have to dress this one up a little bit more because it is so plain in color. This one actually came from Wish and I know that Wish has a bad rap, but I love this skirt. It's true to size. It came pretty quickly. It fits. It's comfortable. It's breathable. So I have nothing to complain about with Wish because most of the time when I, I don't order from there very often, but when I do, I've been happy with what I've received. 
like eight out of 10 times. So 80% success rate on Wish. And I know it has a bad rap and people don't really like it and they kind of make fun of it, but you're all right with me, Wish. You're all right with me. So this is the black midi skirt that I was telling you about. And I actually got this at the thrift store and I just wanted, I did not have a black maxi skirt maxi skirt at the time. I wanted something that was longer than the black denim skirt just to wear to work with t-shirts. You guys have also seen this skirt on the blog if you've been following because I wore this with my pink women empower women t-shirt from the her team. And so I did wear this to work. Um, this one has zippers in the front and I was still kind of undergoing some of my kidney stone symptoms when I wore this. And so I was feeling really bloated and it was a little bit restricting um, in the stomach area, but that was just because I was, you know, not sure what was going on with my health at the time and was having kind of all those symptoms. If you've been, if you follow the blog, you can find more information about that and how I got better and what I'm doing to get better and things like that. I've no, I have not done any public videos or anything about my bout with the kidney stone, but this. I will never forget wearing this skirt because I was, it was a very symptomatic day um, with my kidney stone symptoms and I was feeling really uncomfortable at work. Um, but I was excited to finally wear it and show off my new shirt, which I got a lot of compliments wearing this skirt this day, that day. So it kind of was like, you know, bad and good at the same time. Like I got a lot of compliments, but I was wishing I was feeling a little bit better that day and not having so many of my kidney stone symptoms. But that skirt came from the thrift store. It was like $3. Um, so it was a pretty stamp. It's a midi skirt. It's a little bit longer. Um, and it kind of reminded me of, uh, it's very conservative. Like it reminded me of like the pioneer type of style, um, which is actually coming back. So I bought it just as a black midi and then found out, oh, look, look at this pioneer style. Now I'm like ahead of the game and ahead of the trend I didn't even know was coming. You guys have seen this one a lot on the page and in the channel. I just did a try on haul of this um, skirt yesterday. This is from Salty Sadie. This is the Calia skirt. I've done several posts about this skirt. I absolutely love it. I love the print. I love the color. I love how it's kind of got a corduroy feel because it's got, um, like you can see, it's kind of the corduroy feel, um, even though, yeah, I guess it could be considered corduroy, um, even though it's not velvet. Um, let's see. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you wave, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part or favorite skirt is. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we are just talking about my summer skirt collection, the necessities that I have in my wardrobe, how I wear skirts, what I do with my skirts. Um, and this one I tried on yesterday in a video on my channel in the Salty Sadie try on haul. So if you want to see my thoughts and review of that product, go check out that video. But I do absolutely love that skirt. Um, and I've been really drawn to yellow recently. I didn't used to be drawn to yellow, but I've added a whole bunch of yellow to my wardrobe lately. This skirt is another one that is like the mustard yellow. I tried this skirt on. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be doing a post specifically about this skirt coming very soon um, because I want to give the brand and the Instagrammer who I got it from a shout out. Um, and so keep your eye out for that post. But I just love this skirt. I love the detail. Um, and I've said a few times in this video, but I'm going to keep saying it again because I think it's it's how I buy my skirts and it's how I define which skirts I want to add to my wardrobe. But let the skirt speak for itself. I have this beautiful skirt that's got a beautiful floral print. It's got ruffles in the front, down the side. It does have this, you know, kind of wrap sarong detail. It's got a slight little slit in it. Um, you know, up towards the front. So it's got like that rippled layered effect. And I would pair this with a white basic tee, some basic jewelry and a basic sandal or a wedge. Like I'm not going to go crazy with accessories. I'm not going to try and match this with a printed top or any, I'm going to just let it be and wear it as it is and just let the skirt speak for itself. This is a beautiful skirt. I love the print. I love the color. This is going to be great even moving into fall when that mustard yellow is a bigger color than in the summer. It's a summer skirt because of how light it is, the ruffles, the layered of the ruffles, 
but it's going to translate really great into the fall as well. So it's a great addition to my wardrobe because I'm trying to have pieces that can stay in the closet all year. And so I'm really, really excited about this one. And keep your eye out for that post about where it's from and what I love about it more so than what I just did. This one, we're almost, this is the last one in my midi collection. This one is a little bit more of the maxi. Um, this one does go to my ankles. So this one technically could be considered a maxi skirt. This one came from Target and I get compliments on this skirt every time I wear it. People just think they love the pattern. They love the colors. And what I love about this skirt is the colors in it are so bright that really almost any color would match it. Yellow, pink, orange, blue, rose, blush. Like pretty much any color shirt that I have is going to match this skirt. Um, but this one does, I would put this in the maxi category because it does hit the ankles. Um, but I love, again, this kind of has like that prairie pioneer type feel to it. That's really, it's coming back. Target's doing a whole like new line of clothes that match this like pioneer um, frontier life style clothing which i think is great i love the more conservative switch in fashion today um and so this kind of fits right along with it i absolutely love this skirt and i do love the floral print again keep the top basic get yourself a skirt with a fun print your whole outfit is made and this would also like you could wear this higher up like Put it all the way up to your breast or your bosom and then just have like a tank top on and it's going to look like nobody's going to know the difference because of how long the skirt is. So that's another super fun one. We just have a few skirts left, guys. These are the maxi skirts. This one is from LuLaRoe. This one is a full on maxi. goes all the way past my ankles. Um, it has the waistband that you can roll, which is very convenient because otherwise it would be too long for me. And that's the problem that I have with a lot of maxis is I have to be really, really careful because if they are too long, then I'm like stepping on them. I know probably other people have that same problem. But I'm 5'4", and so a lot of the stuff that's full-on maxi is too long for me. So I usually have to roll the waistband. And this one came with a waistband that kind of is rolled already. So that was really convenient. And it's made to roll. Again, this came from LuLaRoe, which LuLaRoe was so big a few years ago. And now it's kind of dropping off the face of the earth. So I'm really not sure what happened there. I don't know the story behind why I'm finding a lot of their stuff at Goodwill and why like nobody is really talking about it or wearing it anymore. If anybody has any information on that, you can put it in the comments. Let me know because I don't, but I know that I'm finding a lot of their stuff at Goodwill. I did buy this from an actual LuLaRoe seller, but I have lots of shirts and dresses that I've been finding at Goodwill from LuLaRoe and works for me because I can say I have LuLaRoe from, um, Goodwill. Somebody else just joined. Thank you for joining. Welcome to my summer skirt tour. Thank you so much. Let me know which look you like in the comments of the video, wherever you are watching. If you're on YouTube, make sure you have subscribed and liked this video so you can get notified about all my latest videos. And if you're on Instagram, just give me a like and a comment with which um, item you like the best or which one you would like to add to your wardrobe, which one maybe you have in your wardrobe or would like to see um, more of. You've seen this one on the page as well. When I did my spring like sneak peek reel, um, I modeled this one from Target. Um, this is again a maxi and I've posted this on the blog um, a couple of times because I wore this one in April for my autism awareness light it up blue challenge as well. Um, I absolutely love this print. Fun fact about this print, I have this skirt and a dress in the exact same pattern because I bought them on two different days and I just went to Target, looked in the clearance rack and was like, oh my gosh, this print is so beautiful. I just love this. And I bought the skirt and then went back and was like, oh my gosh, I love this print. It's so beautiful. This is great. And bought the dress. So I have the dress and the skirt in the same print because I just love it so much. And what I love about it is that the mustard yellow is an accent color, um, which is I have a t-shirt and shoes in that color. So it made it really easy to accessorize without having to feel like I had to go and buy something else. I had pieces in my wardrobe that I could have matched very easily with it which was an appeal for me to buy it. This is the last skirt in my 
summer skirt tour and I'm saving this one actually for my sister's rehearsal dinner coming up in just a few weeks because her wedding colors are this beautiful lilac. I bought this one at Kato. I was, I hardly ever buy things off of the mannequin or buy them, you know, when they're fresh out you know, fresh on the shelf, as they say. I usually wait until items go on the clearance rack. Um, when I'm buy shopping in store, I'm a big clearance shopper, thrift store shopper, sales shopper. Um, but this was a skirt that was on the mannequin and I just had to have it. I could not walk away. I just loved the color. I love like the wispiness and like the lightness of it as a skirt. It is a maxi, but it's really light. And I just, I feel such I get such a fairy vibe from this. I'm um, in the layers of material. There's several layers on here and I just love it. And I love the color. I just could not walk away without buying this skirt. Um, and so I was really, really excited about it. I've also modeled this one on the page in my spring sneak peek tour when I was doing a try on haul of all of my latest additions to my spring and summer wardrobe. Um, so I've shown this one on the page as well, but I'm really excited, gonna wear it to my sister's rehearsal dinner slash lunch coming up in a few short weeks, um, cause it's the perfect color. So I just love, like I said, the wispiness, that's what makes it so light in the summer, is that the layers of light fabric. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. That is the end of my summer skirts closet tour. Again, I just wanted to give you guys a snapshot of my wardrobe with just an item spotlight as I'm calling it because I have shown you guys the full closet and a lot of what's in there was in there in the spring. I just added like some bralettes, some crop tops, things like that. But most of it is the same as what I showed you in my spring closet tour. If you missed that, you can go to my Instagram, look at the live videos, or you can check it out on YouTube because the full video is uploaded there, my spring closet tour. A lot of these pieces were actually in the spring closet tour as well, but I have been a sucker for good skirts lately and I wanted to show off some of the new ones that I've got, give you some hacks on how to style them, how I like to style them, and just give you a sneak peek into how I store them and some of my must-have pieces and my rationale for buying them. And as always, let me know what you thought in the comments. Positive vibes only. I'm new at this, still trying to figure all this out, so share the love and only positive vibes. And let me know what your favorite skirt was in the comments or if you are somebody who is watching this video and is not a skirt wearer, then which one do you think somebody that you know would like? Share it with them, share this video with them, let them know, hey, go check this out, um, go check out these styles. I have loved skirt shopping lately and I've loved showing you guys on the page all of my ways to style them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.